Hello, everybody. Happy Saturday. Sorry, I was just having a, I was having a cord issue and I pulled everything over. The bonehead. Sorry. Ah, there we go. Okay. How is everybody? We, I just have to find it. There it is. Magnolia Mood. We are going to create a card using Magnolia Mood. Now, I had seen this one card uh, years ago and why I saved it, I, I don't know, but it did. So we're going to recreate it. It was done using, what was the last Magnolia set called? I cannot remember for the life of me, but I know one of you will. Hello. You thought I was going to miss it, didn't you? <laughs> Not happening. Okay. But we are going to have some fun with this. So I'm going to use our gorgeous online exclusive Magnolia Mood. I love this one. So if you're playing with it right now, this is a great, this was actually Stasha Bloodheart had done this with the old Magnolia set. And I was like, oh, I wonder if I can kind of recreate it using the current stuff and kind of give it a little, you know, we'll just bring it back with the new. So let's try this. So I'm going with, to start, this is early espresso. Now this is actually just for, oh, sorry, I'm kind of a bit of a spaz here tonight. I'm going to make a mess and I know I am. Maybe I'm going to get some grid paper because that way I don't have to clean the glass map as we go. Sorry, I keep grid paper. I have it in my drawer because everybody, we use it for a club, but my own glass mat, I don't use it. So. I just wipe it off, but because I am going to make a mess, I'm going to use this. Okay, so let's come in here. I should probably turn my computer on live just for the sake of this, but we're not really going to worry for a minute. And we're going to stamp, actually, while I'm holding that down and jiggling everything for you guys so that you all probably just went cross-eyed and got nauseous. We're just going to do this, okay? Now, we want to do the whole border with this. There. Okay. And um, I can probably actually even get some of the other smaller stamps at the same time. We'll just use them all, people. It'll make everything easier. Do, do, do. How is everybody? Did you have a lovely Saturday? I don't know if that's the same size. I'm talking to the stamps. Are you worried? You should be. There, there we go. Just give that one a good press. There we go. So, are you all? Um, oh, I'm super excited. I'm not a basketball fan. I don't watch basketball, but I will be tuning in tomorrow evening for a certain someone's game because I am so inspired. You feel rested. Good. I love that. Rested is a good feeling. Okay, so we're just kind of going through. Went grocery shopping, picked up your newly wirebound cat. Is it so pretty? Do you love it wirebound? I've never done that. I know many people who do. Okay, and then I'll come in here, take a leaf. Okay, so there, that part, it, ooh, Tarje, nice job. Now see, we don't have Tarje. I can't do Tarje. Don't have it in BC. Don't have it in Canada, actually. We did pretty briefly. You love the nat last Magnolia, yay. Hi, Mayor. How you doing from the other end of the country? I know. So Mare and I, Mare's actually on my team, but we have never met each other. We've, we've yacked on the phone before, um, but we are complete opposite ends of the country, like complete. Okay, so I'm grabbing a little bit of early espresso cardstock. This might be too big, but I'll assess it. Now, we I often do kind of this style. Yeah, I want to go a little bit smaller. Sorry. Put it down one more. Two and three quarters. I'm going to two and three quarters by four. If you decide you want to recreate, it's okay. You've been watching basketball all evening. Good. Okay. Then... We're going to get, that was two and three quarters by four. So now I need two and five eighths by three and seven eighths. This one's going to go 
into here after I get it cut to the right size because it's not quite. Oh, I have brown ink on my fingers. Okay. So we're not using that side. We're going to use the other side. When did I touch something brown? I'll just wipe it on my clothing. You bind yours also. Yeah. I don't bother. Okay. That's done. Now, on my scrap piece of paper, I'm also going to stamp this image again in early espresso one more time. Okay. Will it fit? I'm hoping so. If not, I have to get a new one and we'll stamp it again. Ooh, it's an it's scary when I do an elegant card, isn't it? I told you, I, I didn't design this though. I'm recreating one that Stesha, I think it's pronounced Stesha, Stesha Bloodheart did a few years ago. Um, I loved it. It was incredible looking. And so I thought, hey, I wonder if I can remake it with what we currently have now. Okay. Do we want just a note to let you loved? I feel like it'll fit. My hands. I, I, did I like, I don't know. Seriously, I was going to say you can dress me up, but you can't take me out. But you actually can't even dress me up, just so you're aware. It's not really a thing with me. I mean, unless sweats count as dressing up. I'm so horrible. Really need to start adulting at some point, but I really don't want to. Okay, we're just going to slide this over here. Okay, now I am doing something weird. Someone's going to say to me, yeah, stop, you're stamping upside down. Don't worry, I'm actually meaning to stamp upside down. I'm trying to eliminate me focusing on the words and trying to keep me focusing on the straightness of my sentiment. And this was just a tip I was given by somebody. Was stop trying to stamp the correct way because then you pay attention to the words. And if you stamp upside down, you pay attention to alignment. Okay, that's gonna work. Okay, perfect. Adulting's super overrated. If you were dressed up, you'd get ink on your clothes. I know. And I also, seriously, my floors in my classroom, they get washed once a month. And because I go to, I'm like, I'm not wearing fancy clothes. I'm not paying for the dry cleaning. It's too costly. Okay. Now I lost the card that I was looking at, but that's okay. Um, Is everybody okay so far? Now you could totally do this with your Magnolia and you would have a blast because it is, it's a gorgeous one. Oh, now I lost you guys. Where'd you go? There you are. Okay. And there that is. I'm going to keep going here. Okay. Now on this, we want to go with a pink. I'm thinking we're going to go with petal pink. I do love the petal pink. Oh, if I could, I would too, sweetie. I am going to do some old olive, but I want to make sure I've got my one that's got, nope, not you. Needs a half decent end on it if I'm going to use it. I did just order a bunch more blends. Okay, so we're going to start with this. Now, this guy is going to get die cut. So we're going through this. This is just old olive. The shading in this stamp, I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what they did. It, it's incredible. If you don't have Magnolia Mood yet, uh, you won't find it in the catalog. You'll find it in our online exclusive. So you can find it in my store at shopwithnorthshorestamper.com. Um, and it's called Magnolia Mood. You want to get the bundle because you don't just want the stamp set. You want the stamp set and dies. But like beyond beautiful. So as I've said, I've stamped mine in early espresso. And we're just adding the color. I don't. I won't. You don't what? You're not going to order it? Mm -hmm. You should. Jen's trying to talk herself out of it. I have to admit, I did jump on this one. I don't know. Magnolias, to me, I'm not a big flower person. Hi, Heather. How are you? I am not a big flower person, but a magnolia, they are spectacular. And they're easy to color. They're big. They're not like little bitties. <laughs> little bitties. I don't know where that came from. Okay, there. I agree it's beautiful, but it's just not for me. You can't make me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's okay. So now let's go in with our petal pink. I really hope my petal pink is in an okay state. It feels like it is. We'll see. Okay, petal. Taking, I'm starting with the dark. 
Now we know with this one, we can absolutely leave it alone. Like um, we've realized quite quickly that you could do very minimal shading with this stamp set and have it look like spectacular. Yes, I know you and me both, right, Linda? Um, and so don't feel like you have to get carried away with this one with coloring. Sometimes with this one, I hate to say it, more is less. So I'm hitting the Stampin' Up! Idiot Proof Shading. Um, they don't actually call it that in the catalog. That's just my term for it because it's for people like me who literally don't understand light and shadows and et cetera. I just don't get them. Yes, I'm with you. Same. I didn't get lilies. I, I'm not a fan of the lilies. So it, it's, yeah. Okay, now I can kind of come in. I'm going to add a little bit more color today than I have in the past. Just onto my beautiful magnolia, just because I want this one to have a bit more contrast from the background. Does that make sense? So this is just the light petal pink that I'm using here. Okay. I will do the little additional flowers. Just give me a sec. Now with your lemon lolly, don't you dislike it when you go to use a blend and it's dried out? Yes. It's crazy. But I don't know why I don't remember at the time. So now I've started placing them on my computer. So if I'm online with you guys and I realize one of them is like a goner, I don't put it away now. I just put it on top of the computer. And as soon as the live's done, it goes into my order. I always have like a, a running order going. So that's how I remember now. I don't wait because I have to be honest, I'm not going to remember squat. I don't remember if I had breakfast today. Yes, order blends. Yeah, you want to get them now before the price change. That's exactly what I did. Well, Jen, you and I, like, well, honestly, I forget my own name. By the way, my name's Ange. <laughs> Okay, so there, now we've got that spectacular one. Okay, so now I need my dies. We do have gorgeous dies that go with this one. Okay, so let's get them set up. Let's really try not to uh, ruin this. I'm notorious for not quite having it lined up, feeling like I'm, I'm okay, it's good enough, and then I wreck it. So let's not just be okay with it tonight. Let's actually make sure it's in place, Angela. You can't English. English is overrated. Okay. There. And you do one more. Hi, Cher. How you feeling? Sean's up at the lake. Drove up today. So he will be back on Tuesday with all the Okay. Now I do have an open container rubbing alcohol there. I should move it away. I was toying with things to do for my live tonight. And then I gave up, but I think I just shifted it again. Did I? No, I didn't. Okay. Oh, God. So pretty. It's going to come together. Okay. You're good now. Well, that makes me happy. We need a white card base. Just a sec. So speaking of needing white card base, let's put this stuff away, Angela, so you don't make a mess and knock over the bottle of rubbing alcohol. Always make two cards. So score a piece with one piece of paper and then cut it and create two and put the other one away. <gasps> Hi, Lynn. Look at Lynn's on me. She's like, Ange, where have you been? Why have you not been paying attention? I don't know. You get really distracted by something shiny okay now this has to go i hate stamping on dirty looking things it makes me crazy town okay let's get rid of that so what we're going to do next is we are going to take our seal and we're going to adhere that piece that we did you just ordered the new five ink colors yeah you did because they're gorgeous there we go. So all I'm doing now, just grabbing a little bit of seal, put this one down. We're just going to center this on our basic white card base. There we go. Okay. And then let's take this little darling and we're going to adhere it. Oop, I think I'm going to sneeze. If I sneeze, I apologize already. That's like a pre-apology. Jennifer, that's a given once it came available. 
Uh, yeah, some people aren't. Some people don't jump on in colors. It's interesting. Um, I I just love I love the change, and so I've always jumped on in colors. But I do have some customers who are like, no, because they'll be gone. And okay, it's quite cute. Okay, so now there we go. Not what I wanted. Sorry, just need to pull up the one I wanted. No, I don't need a cleaner bone folder. It's totally clean. There's nothing on it. It's just stained. I actually have three bone folders. One is perfectly spotless, and then the other ones are not. And I don't care because they're not used for anything. Is it bugging you? Ha ha! I'm gonna use it again. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's gonna work. It's gonna look good, people. Okay. Now I do want uh, a little bit of linen thread. Maybe that'll work. Okay. And I just have to figure out next one. Um here. All right, so let's just I'm taking off my bits back here. I had fully intended to only do the new in colors and stamp and spots this year. I know. That was crazy, eh? No refills. That was a I have to say, I think that was a first, wasn't it? The no refills on the pre-order. We usually have been able to get them. Tomorrow, going to work on March Madness cards. Good girl. What am I doing tomorrow? I don't know. I, my Stampin' Up! to-do list is long. My house to-do list is short. So, oh, good, Sue. Thank you. Yeah, so any of your, any classes you ever take with me, if it's a Facebook group class, um, we don't take those down. So you can always go search the group that you were part of. And you should be able to get back in because you had to be approved to get it. Okay, so we're going to come down here. And we're going to, I feel like I've got it a little bit off to one side, but I'm not going to pull it up. Okay. And then this gorgeous beauty. I feel like I want to add a little bit more old olive. Are you guys okay with that? I'm just going to try a little bit more green in here. It gets almost like a, a yellowy hue. Yeah, we pearls more. Exactly. That's a bit, well, it's okay. It's actually not that bad. I was going to say it might be a bit dark, but oh, cross eyed. Oh, I hate that. It makes me panic that I'm going to wreck a card right in that moment. My eyes just get, they seem to get tired, and then I go cross eyed. If I am not okay with that week, welcome, Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Oh, it's your first time watching. I didn't even see it. Yay. Bobby, welcome to our town of crazy. I will admit I get a little carried away. So I had colored these originally in light old olive, but it wasn't, it wasn't enough. Hi, Heidi. Heidi was in my latte class today. We had, la we had a lot of fun. Latte fun. Can you say that? We had a latte fun. That's cheesy. <laughs> Sorry, that's where my child would tell me that was, you know, mom, really cringe. Cringy. They don't say that anymore. Cringy's already out. Don't say that one because then you get in trouble for that too. You can't use a lot of things. Late again. Oh, Keish, how are you supposed to know I'm on? You're not. I don't give you any warning. I just come on. Okay, good. This is working. Next, let's go in here. So we're going to, I'm just grabbing my dimensionals. We're going to work our way through this. Whoop, whoop. Bobby, where are you from? Do you have to tell us? Because I start to learn these things. <laughs> Takes me a while. I'm a little slow on the OT, not going to lie. Okay, we're going to go like that. So pretty. Good idea on the dark. Yeah, they, they popped a bit more. It was almost looking, it almost had a yellowy hue to it with the light old olive because of the brown behind it. it was giving it that look. Okay, now I do have this and I'm going to put it, and your turn. So what Lynn's telling me is she's saying, I need to be reminding people, if, if you are enjoying what you like, if you would like or follow or subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. In my attempt to build... My business. Ooh, petal pink. Are there any small ones in here? I think there are. I was hoping. Nope, it's not back in yet. I looked. I did check. Ooh, I'm going to use these. 
So these are our Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock foiled gems. I'm not going to be using the Pretty Peacock today, but I will use the Petal Pink. Now, I do have embellishments because I did order a set of everything that carried over from the mini because I was so close to running out. I'm really kind of, I drained myself at the end of all my embellishments. And so the part about this one that was awesome was, um, Jen, aren't you my Alberta girl? Where's Jen from? Tell me, my sweet Jen. I was just, why? In my head, I thought you were from Alberta. Did I, did I miss that? I got a notification. No. Oh, 10 a.m. Lost connection during class earlier. Ooh, that's fun. Your fourth card. I know. I was having fun with those today. It was just like, I was in a, I was in a groove going on today. Okay. And then I'm just trying to decide. Hi from Central Florida. I would like to be from Central Florida. Maybe I'll just stop at three. <laughs> stop while you're ahead. The no schedule has wrecked me being first. I know. <laughs> Keish, it was like our thing. Oh, this is one. Huh? You guys, I hate. Oh, I can't find the start on this thing of twine. I want to punch it. I know we're not supposed to punch twine, but it has a start and it's hidden somewhere from me. And so now I just want to do this and be like, oh, I found it. It's right there. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, that was so bad. Oh, <gasps> I know I have your address, but I'm not looking at it. I go from memory. Look at that. I did find it. So it was in that end. But now I have a complete and total pigsty to clean up after we get off. Please don't gasp in horror at me. You're like, really? Did you just do that? Yes, I did. I could not find the end. It was really bothering me. Okay. Welcome, Jennifer and Bobby. Oh, Jennifer's always on with us. Sharon, Jen's the one who we always tease because whatever we choose, it seems that that's not what happens. And then I feel bad. And that's why she got our, our leap year today, or this year. She got February 29th. Okay. Ooh, that's just going to come down in here. I might move my gem down a bit bit bring it to the retreat now i'll do it i'm I'm that kind of stuff i that's like monotonous i'm good at that stuff i am good at monotony i was working this afternoon on crocheting granny squares that was entertaining must have started and stopped and pulled it apart and restarted 77 times i swear to god it was ridiculous Rosemary, where's Rosemary? I can't see her name. There's a lane. Magnifique. Bonjour, Monique. Comment ça va? Okay, there we go. Oh, so pretty. It actually did turn out gorgeous. So for those of you joining us thinking, wow, she designed a really pretty card. No, she didn't. She looked at one that Stesha Bloodheart had done uh, a couple years back when we had the last um, Magnolia bundle. I feel like it needs to be tipped a little bit more up. I'm not going to do it. I'll peel it. Um, peel. Banana. Say it with me. Peel. Peel. Banana. Peel. Banana. Peel. Peel. Banana. Oh, do they look like your Afghan? Okay, Heather's saying that to me because I'm supposed to show you the darn blanket that I made. And I haven't because now it's upstairs. And now I'm working on a baby blanket. I mean, I'm peeling. I'm peeling. Did you see me? I peeled. Okay, we're just going to tip it a little. There. I just wanted it more into that. It was, there was too much of a gap there. Okay. So there you are, your Magnolia mood, nice and clean and simple. So this is a bit like, oh, you love how I jump from English. My French, it's not pretty. Uh, je parle seulement au présent, meaning I can only speak in the present tense. I tell the students in my class, we have to live in the moment because that's all I've got. I did learn past tense and future tense, obviously in high school, but because uh, I never took university French. I took university Italian. Um, I didn't use it anymore. And we don't teach, they don't learn their verb tenses like that in elementary school. They only learn present tense. So I've got enough that I can get through teaching French and not butchering it completely. But yes, I can. I know. I can ask where the bathroom is. Ooh. Où est le... Do you know which one I always remembered? Où est la graffeuse? Est-ce que j'ai emprunté le graffeuse? Can I borrow the stapler? Really? Like, why do I remember that? Who cares? He's learning hockey. Yeah, he totally is. Except he'd be learning some great swear words playing hockey. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> did you cover up the embellishment? Did I? Probably. Oh, I did. Thanks, Jude. 
Thank God Judy was on, you guys, because I covered up an embellishment and now there's only two and it would have wrecked the whole stinking card. So let's peel it. Come here, you. Oh, did I leave it glue dot behind? I left it glue dot behind, Jude. Hang on. Glue dot removed. Glue dot relocated. Gem overturned. I can't overturn it. It won't overturn in my hand. There we go. Oh, now I just dropped it. I have a five-year-old on my bus that speaks French. The background is stamped in early espresso. It is simply the background stamp. Now, the original Magnolia set that came out, there was the DSP. And um, that it had those in it. And you could just color on the DSP. So it was kind of a, a beautiful one there. Look at the new, at the number of new watching. <laughs> anyway, so there you are. Have some fun with that one. I hope you enjoyed it. Not a lot of supplies. You literally just need the stamp set, like the bundle. And I just used those Petal Pink and Pretty Peacock foil gems and then a little bit of linen thread, okay? Um, Petal Pink blends and old olive blends and everything was stamped in early espresso so not a difficult one thanks so much for joining me you guys and i can't wait to see you all you still have that one heidi it's gorgeous uh, i can't wait to see you all tomorrow um yeah so remember you can get all this stuff right now things like blends and that are going up in price with the new catalog so grab them now anyway all my shopping details are in the description take care guys good night Oh, just saw going so watching for the first time. B, and I'm just getting off now. I feel guilty getting off. KB, thank you for joining us. Go back and watch it from the beginning. It was so fun. Ah, uh, hi, Care. I know it's um, I can't remember. I bought it from a, a girlfriend who sells clothing. It has yeah. It's not like embroidered though. They're just okay. Good night. I'm just talking. Sorry. Bye.